When I was invited to do this piece, I went to see it in uh, the raw construction and then we found this beautiful site, which is a big wall, which also has a couple of columns in front of it. So I decided to have a painting that's not sitting on that exact wall space, but rather um, looks like it's floating into the space and landing on a couple of surfaces, which is the column, which is maybe some of the ceiling and some of the wall. So it's not really congruent to the wall, but a little bit off the architectural um, given situation and has a strong independence from the built space actually. So painting is something that is in motion, that is fluid, the way I understand it at least, and that moves through the volume and then somehow lands on um, a spot in the uh, architectural surroundings. And I wanted to make it quite compact, give it quite a lot of body so that it has a lot of um, uh, energy in relationship to the open space that is opened in the ceiling here and also the windows and so on. So I wanted to give it some sort of impact and a very um, saturated feel of um, color. That were my first ideas actually. One, one column is very close to the piece so it actually um, shows how the painting is gradually uh, moving away or towards the wall. But then there is this other column, this is quite in front of it and I decided to do I'd give it a different um, color and uh, scheme and also a different fluidity so it looks more like actually a big wall painting is happening out there as well but just a very sl a small slot of it is visible. I, I'm very fascinated by making these pieces in surroundings that are not explicitly museum spaces or galleries but also a workspace or a spaces that have other functions though people that might not necessarily go and see art are all of a sudden moving through something where they're confronted with a phenomenon that is maybe not only art but also very close to things that they might um, experience in their everyday life, which is about decision making, which is about what do I do next, how does it come about, is it in the flow what I do, and that is very close to how I make my work. So let's say you have like uh, some things mishappen or not be uh, sliding off your attention, all these things. And that is a little bit what my painting also tends to do. So it is um, sometimes very orderly and has a clear structure, but then at another moment in the same field it seems to dissolve that structure and go somewhere else. So you can actually watch something mo change from a certain uh, status into another status. And that is something that I'm very fascinated by in my work and that might also be interesting for people in their everyday situations. Mm -hmm.